Just gonna go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Not get dead face. Taylor Swift's best music videos of all time. You and me, that's my home. Picture to burn. Just another picture to burn. Picture to Burn can be seen as a precursor to Swift's reputation era, unfurling a narrative of vengeance against a former flame through vivid, flame-filled visuals and dramatic antics of an aggrieved ex-girlfriend. Would you look at how happy we were back then? I can't believe he turned out to be such a jerk. It's notable for being the inaugural video where Swift's real-life confidant, Abigail Anderson, makes an appearance. The video unfolds with the duo in a stationary Mustang with Anderson surveying through binoculars, spotting Swift's ex with his new girl in his truck. She's driving the truck. Give me that! A nod to the lyrical reference, I hate that stupid old pickup truck, you never let me drive. What follows is a spree of retaliation. Swift and her band, clad in black, infiltrate her ex's home, wrecking the place while Anderson keeps a lookout. I hate that stupid old pickup truck. Swift is also seen lounging smugly on the couch and the performance scenes are punctuated with pyrotechnics to underscore the message that he is merely another picture to burn. The climax reveals that the entire scene was a figment of her imagination, dreamt up in the car with Anderson and assuring no real homes were damaged in the video's production. Taylor. 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 Whoa. It culminates as a visually captivating video with an engaging plotline, securing his position as the most memorable video from Swift's debut era. On to the next, White Horse. For you and your white horse. The music video for White Horse is overlooked often and truly merits more recognition. Swift narrates an emotionally intense tale peppered with dialogues, making it one of her earliest ventures into cinematic narratives. The video starts with her partner asking, all I want is you, do you love me? After her affirmative response, he seizes the chance to ask, will you give me another chance? Do you love me? Yeah. Her answer is withheld as the music takes center stage, instantly hooking the viewer with the curiosity of what led to this point. The video oscillates between scenes of a despondent Swift in a somber setting and moments of joyful companionship marked by innocent activities like card games. Following the first chorus, the music dims as the spotlight falls on the scene where Swift learns of her boyfriend's betrayal from a friend. The viewers are left in anticipation for the outcome. I honestly believed in the revelation of his infidelity arrives during the bridge, returning us to a distraught Swift, an, ima an image that sends shivers down the viewer's spine, evoking him. As the video concludes, we revisit their initial conversation, but this time Swift gives her answer. She refuses to grant him another chance and abruptly ends the call. Can you give me another chance? Oh, no. The music video brimming with emotion adds depth to and an already poignant song effectively embodies the story Swift intended to portray and showcases some of her best acting. Swift uses this video to remind viewers that sometimes the best response is no response at all. And finally, Antihero is a captivating tune that's both enjoyable to sing along to and profoundly melancholic in its lyrics. It's me. Swift proficiently delivers the sentiments of battling feelings of inadequacy and imposter syndrome, all while keeping an irresistible rhythm. This approach is quintessentially Taylor Swift. I'm the, problem, it's me. the music video is replete with ingenious symbolism that articulates her experiences under the intense scrutiny of fame. Two particularly powerful images stand out. Swift depicted as bleeding midnight blue glitter and towering over her peers. The first symbolizes the media's perception of her as a deity elevated above the ordinary hence her unconventional blood. This is contrary to how Swift wants to be perceived, yet she's unable to redirect the skewed perspective. The second image underscores Swift's struggle to be recognized as Taylor the individual rather than Taylor Swift, the superstar. I'll stand at the sun, but Despite her eagerness to mingle, her peers are intimidated by her viewing her as an enigma. They see her as nothing more than a famous singer and a living legend. Swift portrays her struggle with this anti-hero persona through wry humor culminating in a comically absurd funeral scene. Post viewing, even the most most casual fans gain a deeper understanding of Swift's mental health and her internal struggle with self-image. But that is all for today. Thank you for watching.